Hello and welcome to today's live art stream. This is Pearson here. I am the number one live art streamer in the world and you're watching 500 Days of Drawing. Today is day 499. Whoa, 499. All right. So we're going to be doing some figurative work. Uh, I'm going to start out with like two minute drawings or two minute figure drawings, two minute figure gesture figure drawings. We're going to go from there to a five minute, like a couple five minute ones, and then just call it a day. Um, and that's how it usually it is. It's there's nothing really too fancy. You're just trying to uh, uh, maintain a, a consistent drawing habit. And one of the ways that I do that is through my live stream. So let's begin. Okay, I'm gonna do a few things here. I need to open up some windows. I'm gonna put some music for you. And I need to. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we got here. Gotta to go to time practice on this website here. And. Gonna go to that, 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 and then let's shrink this down just a smidge. There we go. Make sure I got the right brush. Penciled Kyle's ultimate pencil hard. And now, time to give it a certain size. Probably like, yeah, that's about right. 30, 35, 30, and, and let's see here, make sure I got my time lapse ready, yes, be ready to start this joint, all right, mm, let's begin. Begin right now. All right. Gonna. Okay. Beginning now, we're gonna kind of, we're gonna go a little faster and kind of go with like this, these cylinders. We're gonna go like, not cylinders, but like uh, oval forms and kind of swishing motions here. I'm gonna try it this way. Almost like I'm uh, moving the hand like it's a wind, like it's a wand. Zap, right? I'm trying to do a little zap, right? Okay. Always start with like a head, unless you can't see it. And then we're gonna draw some mark, like marks that kind of indicate like an arm. So this person's kind of like bending forward, right? And now we got the head, torso, hips, legs. Now we can kind of do a few tweaks here. Let's go ahead and adjust things now. Or try to. Oh, <laughs> not doing good. I started out pretty good. And then I kind of like lost it. So she's That was going to be a nice one. Actually, I don't think so. All right. This one's a a standing pose. She's she's got like fabric draped on her arm. And we're going to start out with a a head motion 
And let's go ahead. I'm gonna pull my pull back my my hand on the stylus here and kind of draw like this, or try to. Let's see if we can. We're just gonna use the weight of the. Um, actually, I have to. I have to torque back into it because I can't just use the weight of the stylus. The the tablet is just not sensitive enough. I'm like, I must have super light hands because I feel like I have to press super hard on this thing. Like I have to like press into the sty the tablet just to kind of get this thing in there, which is odd because I used to. I think I have relatively heavy hands. So I'm exaggerating the hips a little bit and her clavicle. We're going to draw a little line here to indicate the clavicle. And then something like that. Make a line to kind of indicate, indicate the arms. I don't expect to get a lot done. It's kind of like lines to indicate the arm. And then her leg. I have I struggle with legs. I think everyone struggles with legs, right? I can't tell where her legs at. I can't tell if her, her hips are pivoting behind. It looks like it's literally this back leg is pivoting behind. But I won't get to it because I can't, I don't have enough room or to talk. I don't have enough room and time to kind of render that. Let's kind of give her, let's do like a shape to kind of show like the hair. I think. Something like that. Okay. It's an okay two minute drawing. Don't worry. One thing you want to not focus on is whether or not you're like accurate when you're doing these lives or when you're doing these gestures, right? So figures kind of do it a tilt, right? This like that, just kind of, uh, so that's what she's doing. She's doing that, right? So let's go ahead and let's, and she's, Torso's twisting, right? So we're gonna make a little bit of a twist. Quite honestly, I don't think I'm I'm giving it enough of a twist. Right, so you got that twist, and we're going to follow suit with her neck. Her neck, you see the, I'm drawing a little line from her ear down to the pit of her neck. And that's what I'm trying to do right here. And then I'm kind of looking at the clavicles, right? Looking at the clavicles and seeing how they're, their direction. And so they're kind of doing something like this. You know, you want to think of those, those clavicles kind of like a, kind of like a V, you know, that kind of like moves a little bit, right? And the torso, I'm going to draw, I'm just going to draw like a, Kind of like a shape like this. Sometimes I like to treat like the torso as if it's kind of like an accordion or like a curved, like a piece of paper that I can kind of tilt. And since I'm spending more time talking about what I'm seeing, I'm not really getting a lot of drawing in. I think though that's good because it's going to help me when I uh, work on the, 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 uh, five minute drawing, right? So this one, she's she's on her knees and she's like, oh, uh, her arms are back, you know? So I'm gonna start with the head. And since I see her chin, you know, I see like the top of the chin. I don't have a dominant chin. She's got a pointy chin. So since I see the top of that chin, I'm gonna draw like this little shape here. And we're just gonna draw something like this, you know? That's not accurate. Uh, but it's close enough and something like that and um, for her shoulder her deltoid is covering her it's covering her what what's it covering her ear one second I need to get my my color back I wish I could lock the colors Okay, so now the clavicle is tilted upward a little bit, and then torso is kind of 
curved. Like this. Like that. We're gonna we're just gonna put like a, sh a shape for a rib cage. And then her pelvis, her hips. When I say pelvis, I mean her hips or like that that area that your legs connect into. That's just like a overly technical term for it. We're gonna make a little box for it. And then her arm. You don't see her back arm. Gosh, this would have been a great one too. I was just kind of just do something real quick. Kind of add some lines here. Yeah, that was going to be a good one too. Whew, that was a. Uh, see, you had the understructure here. You had the rib cage, the pelvis box. Then it goes into pub the, the pubis area, the pubic area, and then you had the the, the leg coming from that area. Would have been a nice one. A nice gesture. I ran out of time. That's what happens when you try to talk through these things. Uh, let's see here. I hate laying down poses. This one's a little NSFW. She's kind of... Well, she's she's grabbing her breast and she's looking up. Look, I don't know why she's doing that. She's rack relaxing. Um... Catching some sun rays. I don't. I don't know. I don't like lying down poses because it's for me. I just there's just not enough time for two minutes for me to really get the to really break down the structures. I would need more time because I think the reason why is because it has to do with the for me. It has to do with. When you have a standing up pose, you can you can kind of tell where the weight is distributed. On lying down poses, it's it's a little bit more difficult for me, you know. And you know, I I, I struggle with it from time to time. And lying down poses always can be uh, difficult for me. Look at that terrible hand that I'm drawing right there. Anyways, that's it of my two-minute drawings. We're going to stop, and we're going to go ahead and do some three-minute, five-minute drawings. Yeah, we're going to do a couple of those. Yeah, let's see here. Skip that one. That one's boring. Uh... So I'm looking for, we'll look, we'll do this one. I like this one. This one's good. I'm looking for like angles. Um, having more angles is really helpful on these figurative drawings. So I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to start with where I see the clavicle. I'm going to draw a net, like a line indicating like this, this little, this little like, is it the, I don't know what it's called, the sternocleidoid mastoid? No, that's this. That's this. Uh, this little neck thing. Um, I'm going to go from there, draw a, a head-like shape. Right? So this line indicates something that connects from the ear down to the pit of the, that... I forgot. Oh, gosh. And then we're going to draw some lines to kind of indicate the the neck here. Lines that kind of indicate the trapezius muscle. Not getting too defined on it. Um, and then, let's see here. Because of the way that this figure is kind of positioned, I'm going to kind of make a rounded cylinder for her ribcage torso. And then... I'm gonna move back a line because they're she's like pushing her hips on a on a wall and they're kind of pivoted down. So we're gonna kind of go from there like that. Her arm and. 
There we go. Angles for the arm. This one's difficult because it's like kind of foreshortened. So you're really not going to see a lot here. She's kind of got her, she's kind of got her, her uh, hand cupping her, her chest area. Leave that, think about, I don't know. You can process, process that however you want to, right? Uh, and let's go ahead and we're gonna kind of make some lines here, like here. I'm gonna make some lines here. And then this, we're gonna draw a line like that. And then this leg, crosses over like that okay and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw some shapes to kind of indicate like a, the forearm so really when you're doing these five minute drawings and ten minute drawings if you ever watch them, they don't, you don't run, they're not, you don't really get a lot done, or at least for me. I'm really, really slow at it, especially uh, digitally. Um, with, when I'm using a, a, uh, a dry media on a piece of paper, I can usually do a lot more because I'm able to mass out things. I'm making our neck. I'm gonna make our neck a little bit bigger, and we're going to make some lines here to indicate like angle. Some like that, and then I don't think I got her neck right, but that's fine. Uh oh, I might work on this one a little bit more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on this one a little bit more because the time is almost up. But I want to work on it more. So we'll see how I feel after uh, after this. I want to work on it more uh, because it's, it's 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 turning out pretty well, or certain things I'm I'm kind of liking. And so it's when you get to that when you get to this point, you know. Aside from the head, I'm, I'm liking some of the aspects of, of, aside from the head, I'm liking some of the aspects of the, the figure here. So we're going to go ahead and work on a little bit more. It's going to make some shapes to kind of indicate the hand here. Not defining the hand, it's kind of like a shape to kind of like indicate how I see the hand as a just a simple hand form. And this shape here, as I said, this this whole area right here is kind of like um, really distorted. So I don't expect to really get much. I don't expect any miracles here. Simple shape here. I'm gonna move this this way. So I don't think I did a good job. Let's do that again. Let's kind of just define this as the bottom of the neck. Um, I could fix all of this, but I don't feel like it. Let's add where I see her ear kind of coming out. And then the hair. 
is a simple block shape. Um, let's draw a line and another line. This feels all awkward. I think I probably need to, would have to bring that down a little bit. I feel like I brought it up too high. It's a very awkward position because, I don't know, it's just an awkward pose. So I'm trying to be, I find this very hard to draw this with, with a, a, a tablet. It's very challenging for me. So I got this, um, ah, it's very difficult. So what's difficult to doing these this like kind of like almost pencil like shading is the the tablet is overly sensitive like it's way way too sensitive with it and I have trouble with it because it tends to either under recognize my pressure like it tends to either either under recognize my pressure or over establish the pressure. And that's kind of annoying. And then there's these Gonna kind of block out. So I'm just gonna mass out this area of her torso here. I don't know why. Technically this whole area right here is 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 like a, a faded it's like a dark fade, right? But I I'm not going to do that with this cuz I uh, it's just like too much hatching uh, for this point. So I think I'm just going to I'm just going to spend a little bit more time on this and then do one more 5 minute gesture drawing, one more 5 minute figure drawing right here. Um something right here. And then like this whole area, if I had the time, I would love to spend time on this whole area because there's like just such this subtlety of fade of like gradation from light to dark that really is kind, kind of fascinating. The same over here, I would like to kind of mess around with this area because there's really kind of like some, some nice things occurring here. I just don't have the the, well, not necessarily patience, but I just don't have the time to kind of work with it, you know, especially right now, because it literally is time for me to kind of move on. So that was fun. That was, I think it feels like it's off proportionally, but I think I'm pretty close. Maybe I could trim down the top a little bit. Uh, and maybe extend this le these legs a just a smidge because it feels like I've it dragged out her torso a little bit too long. But that's fine. As long as you recognize those things. One more five minute drawing. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to find one that I feel is interesting. It's going to hold my interest for a while. 
something that usually has some good contrast, no lying down poses, no like that one was probably pretty good. I'm looking through some uh, poses here, trying to find a good one. I think what I'm going to do is next week I'm going to be doing um, some. I'm going to do some like. Uh, I'm going to go to. I'm going to draw the male model. All right. So this one, she's doing like a. Ah, she's doing like a pose, karate pose here. So we're going to start with a simple block head. And then I'm just going to do a few lines here to kind of accentuate the, express the, uh, some angles that I'm seeing. She's not doing a lot of angles in her torso. She's kind of pretty straight up and down, you know, and then her leg, maybe her other, her bottom leg kind of, you know, this leg is kind of, it's straight, but it looks like it's, it looks angular. And this other leg is kind of tilted down like this. Uh, but I'm not too worried about that. And then her, let's go ahead and move this slightly to the right. Press B. And then her other arm really close to her head. Gonna move, go press B again, move it down, B. Like that. So I have a little bit more time to work on this stuff today. But I'm still gonna try to keep it roughly around 30 minutes, 35 minutes, because I like to keep that time frame. Um, you know when I have a live, if I do a live stream at this time, it means I have an opening of time that I'm going to capitalize on. It means no one's home. <laughs> no one's home. I got everything I wanted done and I'm just like on fire. And then she's doing, her arms kind of doing like, ah, she's, she's like casting fire bolts, fire bolts, fire bolt, fire bolt. What she's doing? I don't know. Dare to dream. Okay, now we're gonna do just like some block forms for the torso. Now, what I with the information I have here, I'm just gonna kind of impose lines that are gonna beef up the figure. And I'm what I when I whenever I do these these drawings from life, I'm trying to capture the likeness of the figure. I'm not like I'm not going to do what you see all these other people do, is is like exaggerate the form. You know, uh, I want to understand this form before I can actually begin like the the idea of exaggerating form. So I'm not going to exaggerate forms. Um, like this woman here. She's got like narrower hips. She's just where she's more blocky. But she's got like a big rib cage. And which shows like the, the, the abs kind of tucking in under, into the rib cage a little bit more. So we're gonna draw some shapes to kind of indicate what I'm seeing here. And then her hand is kind of doing something like that. What I don't like about this pencil is it, I have to like, it can kind of make soft lines. And I'm going to move the head closer to her, her shoulder here. And they're going to bring up this. Something like that. Because she's... She's kind of tucking her arm in, you know, into her, closer to her face.
Okay. So I'm almost time out of time with this one, but I am going to keep working on it because I I have a a a, a little bit more time available to me right now, and I can af I have the I can be afforded to kind of play around with this. This one and it's kind of like sh sh we're just gonna kind of draw the shape of what I'm seeing of her forearm not really not looking at the internal structure really I don't want to I don't want to worry about that not in this point okay kind of get her arm her hand in here Pew! Something like that. I don't know. Obviously, that's not going to work. But I'm not too worried about that because I'm not. I'm not drawing the entire figure. I would need a good. I need some a lot of time to kind of get everything in order to kind of before I start doing details. You know, I can only do. I'm only going to like express certain things on the face. Maybe like lines, just to kind of show where her direction of her face is. Maybe to kind of to find the how I see her her cheekbone a little bit then and then um Kind of playing around here. Whoopsie daisy. Oh! And then, uh, let's see here. Let's kind of get that plane of her face in there. Ah! I'm getting better at, like, treating it like a pencil, but I'm still... Still, still struggling. I'm getting in that 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 like um, pencil feeling, like that 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 feeling that it's like a as if I'm treating it as like a draw, a pencil drawing. I'm still struggling with. Uh, oops, don't want that. There we go. So as you see, what I'm doing is I'm kind of faceting out areas that I that. Um, are predominantly in like a dark tone and that way it's, it's just kind of like a way to kind of it's hard to explain it's just kind of a way to segment off value tones that are similar like this whole area is pretty much one like dark tone Of course, there's some variance in there, but I'm just going to kind of sim a little. Cut this off here. I may or may not have ex exaggerated her rib cage, and I think I've underdeveloped the her breast and this area. I think this needs to be brought up, but I don't have that. I don't have. I'm not going to spend as much more time on this one. I may have made her forearm a little long. Move us down for a second. And press B, and her. Let's go ahead and kind of just do some like. I don't think I'm doing a good job of getting that hand look to look like what I'm seeing, but it's okay. And uh, press B, and.
cast shadow from her arm. I'm probably going to spend five more minutes on this and just call it a day because I'm already going over time as it is. But as I said, I have a little bit of an abundance of free time. So I can, I can kind of can kind of be afforded that that luxury her hair kind of darken that hair up behind her She's kind of, she actually has really, like, it seems like fine hair. I know when you're, when we're drawing certain people, we tend to, or certain type of drawings, you want to exaggerate things and stuff like that, but you know, it's okay to not always have to exaggerate. So just kind of add shadow here, playing around here, and then and then our other leg. We're just gonna do something like this. I know it looks weird, but that's what her leg kind of looks like. I probably it kind of looks like that. We can't all be like superheroes, right? We can't all have superhero physiques, right? And so forth. Let's go ahead and let's just define Ah, oh, that's terrible. And I think I'm about done. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's not great. I I uh, there could be there's certainly things that could be done better, obviously. Um, but it's okay. It's not great. I'm not bragging about it. I don't think it's like the best drawing ever and so forth, but you know, it's okay. I just want to say that is it. Let's call it a day. I want to say thank you so much for watching today's live art stream. This is Pearson. I am the number one live art streamer in the world. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Oh gosh. Well, now that I look at it, I'm just going to see all the bad things about it. But, uh, I, 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 if I were to do this again, what I need to do is after I get like a good structure, I need to tighten things up and redraw certain things uh, because I don't, I'm not erasing anything, you know, and that's the problem. So that's one of the issues that I have with these, these uh, programs is I don't typically erase. Um, anyways, I want to say thank you so much for watching today's live art stream. I wish you all the best and you have a wonderful day. Cheers.